Chapter 13, Power Plant and Propeller Airworthiness Inspections. Number one, what publication can be used as a guide for 100-hour inspections on aircraft engines? Manufacturer's Maintenance Manuals and FAR Part 43, Appendix Delta. Number two, how do you identify the engine serial number? It is on the engine data plate. Number three, prior to returning a reciprocating engine to service after a 100 hour inspection, what operational checks must be performed? Check the power output, static and idle RPM. Check magnetos, fuel, and oil pressure. Check the cylinder oil temperature. Number four, where are the life-limited parts of an engine listed? Engine maintenance manuals, type certificate data sheets, and the airworthiness limitations section of the instructions for continued airworthiness. Number five, where can an engine operating limits be found? Engine manual, engine specifications, Type certificate data sheet in an aircraft manufacturer's maintenance manual. Number six, why are hot section inspections performed on a turbine engines? To determine the integrity and wear of the hot section components. Number seven, what inspections must be performed following a turbine engine overspeed? Refer to the engine manufacturer's maintenance manual for the required procedures. Number eight, what inspections must be performed on a turbine engine if the exhaust gas temperature exceeds limitations? A hot section inspection. Number nine, what FAA approvals are required when installing an engine that is not on the type aircraft type certificate? an STC or an FAA field approval. Number 10, under what conditions is compliance with an engine service bulletin mandatory? When, air, when an airworthiness directive re references the service bulletin or when the compliance is part of the approval operating specifications for a commercial or air carrier operator, when engine or other components, overhaul procedures require compliance at a time of overhaul.